1941, correct? 42. This is 1941. Mm -hmm. 1941. Oh, 42. Okay. Sorry, yeah. Guys might remember this radio from uh, last meeting. Our friend of the club, Susan Kirkpatrick, over there. This radio is a family radio. Belong to your father? Yeah, my parents both. Bought it back in probably 1940, 41. It was all original when I opened it up. Every cat, every tube, every crumbled, crusty piece of wire that was falling apart. <laughs> all the dust from 1941 to today was in this radio. Cigarette smoke, too. Amazing. Father was a cigarette smoker? Both of them were. Okay. It was covered with nicotine. Yep. And uh, when I talked to Susan uh, last meeting, I said, I'm not going to refinish it. It's too much for me in it. It raises the price of the radio cost and all that, and I'm not a refinisher, so blah. Give it to Larry. So <laughs> I cleaned the radio. Okay, I cleaned it with Gojo. I cleaned it with Mineral Spirits. I cleaned it with Gojo. I cleaned it with Mineral Spirits, Q-tips, and whatever. This was all black. This this brass area was all black. Not pretty good. The knobs were really, really dirty because it, from 41 to now, every body oil from touching, you know. All original knobs, all original push buttons, all original grill and um, face plate, all original dial, um, whatever this stuff is, grill cloth, all the original wire, tubes, everything. It hardly has any nicks or scratches. It's got a little bit of white paint. They probably had it somewhere where they were painting. Um, it's a beautiful radio. All original back. That's wow. Okay, the feet, yeah. you know, the wave magnet um, antenna in the in there and everything. Great radio. Like I said, it had all the it had rubber wire and it had mm -hmm. cloth covered wire. Thank God for cloth covered mm -hmm. wire. Mm -hmm. But pretty much every rubber wire in there was falling apart, mm -hmm. especially red. Is red yeah. the worst it's wire? The, uh, yeah, yellow is just as bad. Oh yeah. my God, it was horrible. I mean, it, and it. And it crunched. And then farther down the, the wire, it was spongy. You know, it depended on, I don't know if it was heat or whatever, but yeah. I think back in 41, they hadn't developed the uh, science of plastic or the science of They're covering the wire. Viral, yeah. 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 But it was um, an interesting project. Uh, it had a couple of bad tubes in it. And a 6X5 for Zenith was not their best tube. And they're all Zenith tubes. You know, transformer radio had a 7B6 radio uh, tube in it, and it was a three-part tube, and it did a lot of wow. things in the radio. And um, put it on the variac when I got it, and you know me, I'm I can't keep my hands off the radio. If it comes home with me, I'm touching it. You know, if I if I buy a radio, I go right home and start work on it. And I can't help myself. So I go home and I put it into my test equipment, and you know, I put it on my variac, and I've got a um, uh, uh, current gauge on it and you know voltage and all that and I start to bring it up on power and I start to get a little bit of action in the one dial light that's in it. It has two and I had to put another one in there. And um, I couldn't get it to play. You know I didn't take it up very far but then I started checking the tubes and the 6X5 was dead and the 7B6 was dead so I had a 7B, no I didn't have a 7B6, I had a 6X5 76 I had to buy, and that was a real primary tube in this radio. So when I got that tube, it worked. Low volume, hum it had, but it worked. So then I put it on my um, stand and started tearing it apart. Had all Zenith caps in it. I don't have all the caps in there, but I figured I'd bring them in there, all the Zenith caps, and they bought some caps from other people. There were some other ones in there. And uh, I did my process of changing caps, and there weren't a lot. There might have been 10, maybe. Every time I put a cap in, I test it. Every time I put another one in, I test it. I put another one. I'm not bold enough to go in there and just snatch everything out, put everything in, and then hope, hope that it works. Because <laughs> if it doesn't, you don't know where you made your mistake. Yeah. You save a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> All the push, push, push buttons work. If this was a better room nut demo radio, 
you know, you just press a button and they're all St. Louis stations and they're all dialed in. It was great. Takes a while for it to warm up. This is a 6S 527. We thought it was an 8S, but the 8 and the 6 look similar once I dug into it. not doing bad. Jesus always comes through. Hmm? Yeah. Jesus always comes through. I've been with Jesus two times on a radio dial already. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Priorities. That is, but picking stuff up in this room, that's impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Susan, one thing when you're using this radio, never leave it on when you're not at home. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, the weaker stations, you tune in a weak station and then you move to a strong station, it's going to jump out at you and scare you to death. So, be careful. And that is it. <laughs>